Good morning. This is Friday, September 29th. I'd like to begin by wishing the Herricks, uh, Alan and Carrie, a happy anniversary. Hope you guys go do something special. And also I'd like to wish my grandson Noah a happy birthday. Noah, uh, we want you to know that uh, Graham and I are very proud of you. You've become a fine young man and I look forward to seeing what God's going to do in your life down the road. So have a happy birthday, kiddo, and we'll see you for your graduation. Today's devotion is the awareness of the call. This is 1 Corinthians 9. For necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. We are inclined to forget the deeply spiritual and supernatural touch of God. If you are able to tell exactly where you were and when you received the call of God, and you can explain it perfectly, then I question whether you have truly been called. Because the call of God does not come like this, it is much more supernatural. The realization of the call in a person's life may come like a clap of thunder, or it may dawn quietly and gradually. But however quickly or slowly this awareness comes, it is always accompanied with an undercurrent of the supernatural, something that is inexpressible and produces a glow within us. At any moment, the sudden awareness of this incalculable, supernatural, surprising call that has taken hold of your life may break through. I chose you. That's John 15. The call of God has nothing to do with salvation or sanctification. You are not called to preach the gospel because you're san you are sanctified. The call to preach the gospel is infinitely different. Paul describes it as a compulsion that was placed upon him. And I want to clarify something that everybody who's redeemed is called to preach the gospel. This isn't referring strictly to preachers like myself. If you have ignored and thereby removed the great supernatural call of God in your life, take a review of your circumstances. See where you have put your own ideas of service or your particular abilities ahead of the call of God. Paul said, Woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. He had become aware of the call of God, and his compulsion to preach the gospel was so strong that nothing else was any longer even a competitor for this. If a man or woman is called of God, it doesn't matter how difficult the circumstances may be. God will orchestrate every force at work for his purpose in the end. If you will agree with God's purpose, he will bring not only your conscious le this to your conscious level, but also into the deeper levels of your life, which you yourself cannot reach, and he'll bring them both into perfect harmony. The challenge I have for us today is, are you, have you, been called of God? And if so, what is the answer? Let's pray. Father, I pray for those today who have the call of God upon their life beyond the witnessing to actually become uh, preachers. I pray for them, Father. Uh, some have been struggling against it. And I pray, Lord, they'd say yes. They'd just say yes and obey and watch what you can do. We love you, Lord, and we thank you that you trust us with these things. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.